up early. Couldn't sleep. Why not? I miss my old room. You'll adjust. It's only our first night. Why are you up so early? I guess I'm adjusting too. When's Wes going to get here? He'll be here soon. He's just closing the deal in our old apartment and then he's going to bring the rest of our stuff up from Birmingham. What you looking at? Family photos. Want to see? Recognize them? Well, of course, silly. That's me. That's you. And that's Wes. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I miss mom and dad. Me too. But they're watching over us now. Since we're both up so early, how about I go with this game? So do you want blueberry or chocolate chip or original with just some syrup? It's too much to decide. <laughs> These are some tough life choices, bud. Where can I put my birdhouse? Uh, I think I saw a nice bench out front you could put it on. What? Hey, and after that you need to come in and clean up. Wes will be home any minute. Ethan. Mira, is that you? Hey, what up? You all right? I'm sorry you scared me. <laughs> I think I'm calling it a night. Hey, uh, were you in the attic just now? I thought I heard something. Attic's locked. Don't have a key. Look, it's an old house. You're gonna hear strange noises. Just don't let it get to you. <laughs> Good night.
Looking good in here, sis. Oh, you remembered. Ethan, go wash your hands. Because <laughs> I can't find my common books. They have to be around here somewhere. We packed them. I packed them. But I can't find them anywhere, which I should know because we've been unpacking these boxes all day. Busy day, huh? Oh yeah, work, work, work. Any interesting news stories? Buddy, there's nothing over here. Yeah, and Ethan, you shouldn't have been up here in the first place, especially not in the dark. My comic books were in here. Are you hurt? I hit my head. Can you stand up? I think so. All right, come on. Let's get you downstairs. <laughs> you about scared us to death, buddy. Remember, Ethan, look, don't touch. I'm not five, you know. Welcome to Hyatt's Antiques. Be with you in a minute. Hey, Vera, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Cute, isn't it? That belonged to a local family. It's been sitting there collecting dust for 30 years. I can't believe no one wanted it. You're new in town, aren't you? Just moved in. Came from an old house on the old back road. The locals think it's haunted. <laughs> <laughs> Several brutal murders happened there. How awful. But it, it's just a legend, right? I mean, every town has something like this. If you say so. <laughs> hmm. 
I'm so sorry. I didn't introduce myself. My name is Alfred. Oh, it's nice to meet you. I'm Vera. You know, it's crazy. But I think I've seen you somewhere before. I don't think so. <laughs> He's just being modest. You probably saw him on the news. <laughs> yes, that's it. I'm Wes. Uh, oh, and this right here is Ethan. Hello. Where'd you get this? It was in an old trunk in our attic. Uh, we were wondering if you could tell us something about it. Yeah. Where did you say you found this? In our attic? No, no what house? Uh, it's out on the old county road, uh, Bell Halcyon, the, the one with the big columns. I'm sorry, folks. I don't think I can help you with this. But it is an antique, right? It's nothing valuable. I suggest you get rid of it. Get rid of it? Yes, yes, yes. Look, I'm really very sorry. There's nothing I can do to help you. Nothing. Do yourselves a favor. Get out of that house. I swear there's got to be a hundred rats in that attic. I hate to say it, but we're going to have to call the exterminator. Great. Something else we can't afford. Our finances have help. Heading that way. If we need to, we can sell some things. This house is full of antiques. That is absolutely out of the question. I, uh, I mean, I don't think we should. They're part of the house. Should you be drinking all that coffee right before you go to bed? You know what makes you cranky. I'm not cranky. I just have a lot of work to get done. I understand. I just wanted to let you know. Thanks. How's Ethan? He's sleeping. I think he finally got over what happened the other night. That's good. Better yet, how are things at work? I'm trying to make the best of it. But ever since I've come back, they think they can load me up. And with inflation through the roof, they know I can't afford to say no. Just promise me something. What? Promise me that you won't fall into the same trap as last time. Vera, I'm trying my best. Promise me, Wes. All right, I promise. Thank you. I'm going up. Try not to say it to it yourself. You know, it's the strangest thing. She keeps hearing the scratching, but we can't figure out what's making it. Mm, could be mice or squirrels. Well, you know, that's what we thought too, but, uh... Well... They could be burrowing through the walls, which can lead to all kinds of problems. Such as? Worst case scenario, they could chew through the electrical and that could start a fire. <sighs> Great. Well, let's hope not. Mm. All right, well, uh, I'll let you get to your work. All right. <sighs>
Yeah, sure, I'll take it. Yeah. Thanks. What's wrong? Some big new story they want me to cover, on top of my usual stuff. Is it a lot? It's an ongoing investigation. Uh, it's gonna take several nights a week. Well, everything will be all right. You'll get through this. Yeah. Come on, it's late and you need to get some sleep. Yeah, I'll be up in a bit. I've got a few things to do. All right, good night. Good night. Lights out, two minutes. No one is here. No one else. I saw it with my own eyes. Honey, it's just your imagination. No, I know what I saw. It started scratching all over the walls. And then it attacked me. I think it wants to hurt me. Ethan, I think it's best if you stay up here and take it easy for the rest of today, all right? I don't wanna. I think it's best if you do. Hmm. Is it because you're afraid? Remember what we discussed, Ethan? Face from off your ears. Mm -hmm. That's right. 
It'll be all right. We're just gonna go downstairs. Do you want me to keep your door open? We're just gonna go down and talk for a bit and then I'll come back up to see you, all right? All right. See you later, Ethan. Good evening. I'm Wes Winters, filling in tonight for Tom Harris. Crime and government red tape are no longer just issues of big American cities. They're now reaching small towns. For many small cities and towns, city halls are struggling to deal with increasingly complex economic and social problems, some of which are beginning to threaten their ways of life. Over the next two months, I will be conducting an ongoing investigation, looking at the difficulties many small American cities are now facing and what this means for North Alabama. Ethan, what are you doing in my bed? The scratching was too loud. I couldn't sleep. Ethan, buddy. Stay here. Who is that? Who's up there? Whoever you are, you better show yourself right now or I'm gonna call the police.
Nothing. No, Wes, I know I saw something. Then I don't know what else to say. There's nothing up there. What, do you think I'm lying? I think the move has been stressful on all of us. Wes, I don't like it here. I want to go home. This is our home. There's nothing to be scared of. I know it isn't easy, but you have to move on. Don't forget we moved here to get away from the past. We packed up our memories, we packed up our clothes, but all of this, we agreed to leave that behind us. Wes, that is not what this is about. While you're out there, I'm here in a different town, in a different house, and I'm alone. You have Ethan. Wes, that's not the same and you know it. Look, while you're out in the adult world, I'm just... Jumping at shadows. Wait. I'm sorry. Look, tomorrow's Friday. I'll take off early and we'll have dinner together and uh, Maybe we'll go see a movie or something. Okay? Alright. See? Isn't this exciting? Sarah, why do bad things happen to good people? Um, I don't know, Ethan. Uh, I don't know. Everything happens for a reason, I guess. But why did God take Mom and Dad away from us? Some things we just can't explain. But we don't go through anything we can't handle. But why are bad things happening to us here? Well, Ethan, maybe it isn't God. Maybe it's the devil. Is there something wrong with Wes? Why? He seems different. I mean, like after mom and dad died, but worse. He's had a lot of bad breaks lately, but he's trying to keep it together now. But when I talk to him, it seems like he's a completely different person. Are you scared of him? Sometimes. Ethan, Wes would never do anything to hurt you. I wouldn't let him, understand? Uh-huh. Hey, look over there. I didn't even know that was on the property. I'll race you to the weir. Ethan, we don't know that it's safe. Ethan, please slow down. That pier might be dangerous. Ha-ha. <sighs> 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 All right, Ethan, you win. Let's walk the rest of the way, huh? OK. All right. Hey, careful. Stay close to me. Isn't it beautiful? I can't believe we didn't know this was back here. Yeah. Oh, we should go swimming next summer. Doesn't that sound like fun? Yeah. It's peaceful out here, don't you think? Yeah. We'll have to show Wes. He'll love it. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the best you can do? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, we better get back to the house. I'll race you. Last one back to the house is a run thing. Hey, no fear. Come on, you're gonna have to run faster than that. Hey, I meant to call earlier. Wes, you promised. I know, but... It's a big story and you can't afford to lose your job. So you can't be mad at me. Can't you just say no? This story could be a big break for me. Wes, it was just for one night. I've got a lot to do. Don't wait up.
Aren't the antidepressants helping? Mm, I'm not taking my antidepressants. Fira, in order to get better, it is imperative to take your medication exactly as prescribed. No, no, it's, it's, I, I can't find them anywhere. It's like they just vanished into thin air. Some of the side effects when you abruptly stop taking your antidepressants include the experiencing of disturbing thoughts or images. But Ethan's seen them too. What about your brother, Wes? Has he also experienced these occurrences? Wes has a way to explain everything. It's, you know what? He's got his own problems, okay? I thought he was in a better place, but he has gone to a much darker place, and it was way worse than five months ago. Miss Winters. I'm going to ask this just once, and I only want you to answer if you feel completely comfortable. Have you experienced any kind of mistreatment from your brother, physical or mental? No, no, Wes isn't. He would never, okay. There's something you have to understand about Wes. He is the most compassionate person I know. He would do anything for Ethan and me. He's been through so much trauma and he just bottles it all inside because he thinks he has to be strong for us. He went through so much trauma during the war and then with the accident so shortly after that, it's, it just sent him over the edge. And he has these bouts of uncontrollable rage, but that's what happens, isn't it? When you've been through that much trauma, especially as much as Wes has. I think the sudden relapse is my fault. Oh, do you mind if I check in on Ethan before I go? You know, Ethan's just really tired after everything that's happened. I think it's better if we just let him sleep. Then that's all the more reason I should check in on him. Dr. McNeil, I appreciate it, but we should wait till next time. Vera. Clearly something about your brother has disturbed you, and I feel like there's something you're not telling me. Are you and Ethan all right? You don't have to cover for your brother, especially not to me. I'm not covering for him. Often people construct these fantastic stories, ghosts and ghouls, to protect themselves from the horrible truth so they can carry on. It's Dr. Perfect. McNeil, thank you so much, but please, not right now.
Ethan? <laughs> Ethan, don't be afraid, it's just Dr. McNeil. Ethan? Is that you? Ethan, are you up? <gasps> oh. <laughs> Dr. McNeil, you scared me. What are you doing? How did you get back in? Dr. McNeil, are you all right? Dr. McNeil? Dr. McNeil? Dr. McNeil! What do you know? Miss, would you mind keeping your voice down, please? <laughs> what on earth are you talking about? Oh, spare me. You know something, you know that something was going on in that house and you didn't say a word. Now I wanna know everything. I was trying to protect you. Oh, by keeping me in the dark? I warned you to leave, but you didn't believe me. My brother and I are scared for our lives and we don't know where to go or who to turn to and you're our only hope. Where is it? Uh, my brother Wes, he's wearing it. How long? Long enough. I'm afraid there's nothing left that can be done. No, I, I can't accept that. No, it's trying to destroy my family. Miss, something malevolent resides in that ring. I tried to help a family with it back in the 40s, but the entity was too strong. There must be something. All right, I know someone who can help.
Part of the fan, part of the house. 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 Part of the family, part of the house. Part of the fan, part of the house. Part of the family, part of the house. Then what are you doing out of bed? Are you okay? Ethan, why won't you answer me? What happened to your neck? Ethan, please say something. Just talk to me. Talk to me. to kill me. Who? The man in the secret room. Good evening, Mr. Winters. Lewis? It's me. What did you see? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And you were up in the room in the attic, the same one Ethan was in? Yes, there's only one room up there. And you didn't find anything? I didn't see a thing. How's Ethan? 
Oh, I put him to bed. I think he's sleeping. That's for the best. I'm sure he'll be much better by tomorrow, just like last time. But there must have been some mistake. There must be more than one room. It had to be the same room. There was a hole in the wall, just like Ethan said. That's just... I mean, how else do you explain his injuries? Something had to have happened to him. Ethan must have done it to himself. No, uh, I won't accept that. Outside of everything he's told us, there isn't anything else. With everything going on, he hasn't gotten enough attention. I think this is his way of letting us know. Are you kidding? Well, how do you explain it? Well, I can't. But I know someone who can. The antique shop owner, he has a sister, and she's a parapsychologist. Maybe she can help us. Oh, this is just like you to do something this crazy once I'm finally bringing in some money. And I bet they're giving you a great discount just because you're so desperate. How much deeper in debt do I have to go before you realize? Living under a bridge? Digging through dumpsters? Holding little signs at intersections. Sounds like fun, doesn't it? Yes. Vera, I think the only demons you're facing are your own. We don't need someone to help the house. We need someone to help you. Excuse me, miss. Please leave me alone. But I'm Dr. Jackie Hyatt from the university. Oh, oh, please forgive me. I'm Vera. Nice to meet you. So, how does a psychologist become involved in the supernatural? Well, actually, I grew up with psychic abilities, so I thought it was a good idea to pursue parapsychology. Did Alfred tell you anything about what's been happening? Only in a very general way. Did he tell you about my brother? Only that you have two. So he really didn't tell you anything about our experiences? No, not a word. So, I guess he wanted to rely on your judgment? Well, that's usually the case. The university is a bit skeptical of my department. It isn't widely accepted in the academic community. So, say someone approaches you because they believe they're experiencing paranormal phenomena. What do you do? Well. First, I would need to research the case myself to see if there's any weight to the claim. And what if this person believes the spirit is trying to control someone else? Well, then I would highly suggest seeking psychological treatment before diving off into the supernatural. Well, it just so happens that I think the house is haunted. Um, it's, it's, um, it's changing my older brother, and I, I think it's trying to hurt my family. Well, then that's even further reason to look for a medical explanation first. Why? Well, because if there's a psychological problem, looking to the paranormal will only make the situation a lot worse. Nothing could make this worse. You don't understand. Before the university will even think about opening this, I've got to do a psychological exam first. And if that fails, I have to provide physical proof that there's intervention needed. <laughs> Can you please just come to the house? Well, yes, I can, but I have to perform a psychological exam. Oh, that's not what we need. I already saw a psychiatrist, and even she was attacked. You're our last hope. Why won't anyone help us? Look, you're, you're still not understanding. Uh, no, I know my brother. You could create a copy that looks and sounds just like him, but you couldn't fool me. I know it was a fake in my heart and in my soul. I would know when this person who is living in my house, parading around as him, isn't my brother. Now, when you come to the house, you better be absolutely certain that all that is wrong with us is just in our heads and isn't something paranormal. You better be certain. Feels like it's watching us.
sensing something? It wants us here. Thanks for coming. Please come in. Are you alone? Um, no, Ethan, my little brother, he's upstairs somewhere. He's just a little shy. And your other brother, where's? Wes, uh, he's at work. He actually doesn't know I invited you here today. Uh, he won't be home till later tonight. So where should we start? Uh, I think we should start where the most activity is occurring. Ah, oh, that'll be the attic, this way. With everything happening, why not just leave? Uh, trust me, I would if I could, but, um, things are tight. We sank our inheritance into fixing this place. Yeah, we stay out of there. Without the key to lock it, we did the best we could. Something up? Al, this isn't good. This isn't good. Usually this is something I like to ease my clients into slowly, but it just it just takes too long and I don't I don't think we have much time to waste. Are we in danger? It's difficult to explain. There's there's so much pain here. So much yearning and remorse, terror, grief, and anger. This place is infested with spirits caught in the paramagnetic grip of this house. But what? It's, it's the darkness. See, it's a magnetic force created by tragic events that release psychic energy into the surroundings. It, it works much the same way as a battery. The darkness is attracted to the negative energy that's released by trauma and distress. It inspires negative energy, and it inflicts anger and sorrow into the minds of its inhabitants. But that still isn't enough. It requires bloodshed to survive. See, the souls it's claimed remain trapped in limbo between our world and the next. They're merely pawns, tortured souls that are made to relive their demise over and over again just, just for this house's pleasure. But there's, there's one spirit that frightens me, though. In many ways, it seems to be the heart of this house. What does it want? It wants your brother, Wes. More specifically, it wants to be your brother. It needs to be your brother in order to keep this house from dying. This entity has bonded itself to that ring, and through that can inhabit a person's body. But I, I think eventually the spirit will break its bonds with that ring and make a more permanent one with your brother. What happens then? There won't be any 
of Wes to bring back. This dark entity craves life and will stop at nothing to get it. But first things first, we need to gather a small team and the proper equipment. Oh no, we need to leave. I need to get my family out of here right now. It won't do any good. The bonding process has already began. Uh, just separating yourself from that ring or, or leaving this house won't, won't do any good. The spirit craves your family and will stop at nothing until he devours each of you. And this isn't the first time. Your ancestors built this house and it has a long history of claiming their lives. I wouldn't be at all surprised if the entity we're dealing with is a member of your family. Part of the family, part of the house. Look, you are stronger than it is. We'll do everything in our power to protect you and your family. Do you understand? What do you think you're doing? Wes. What do you think you're doing? Um, I just thought we should talk about what happened earlier tonight. Is it because you think we're in danger? I'm scared for Ethan, Wes. Are you taking your medication? Would I lie to you, Wes? I don't know. Would you? You took them? I found them in the trash. They're so far gone that you can't even remember throwing them away. No, that's impossible. I would never do that. How could you, Vera? I can't believe you would do this to our family. Think of Ethan! Yes, I swear they just vanished. Is that what all of these ghost sightings are? Hallucinations because you can't be a responsible adult? I would even be surprised if you were the one who attacked Ethan the other night. Wes, please just listen to me and take off the ring. It'll feel better. It's preventing you from seeing the truth and it's trying to divide us. All this time, you've been trying to make me out to be the monster when it's you. You leave me no choice but to have you locked away. Wes, let go of me.
So, what's all of this for? We want to see if we can capture any phenomena that may occur during the table tipping as proof for the university. Guy will be filming the entire session. Chris over there will be snapping some pictures, and Nancy will be putting all this on tape. Where's Ethan? Uh, he's staying with relatives tonight during this. He'll be back tomorrow. I think it's best that he isn't here for this. Wear this. Is that really necessary? We need to do everything that we can to contact the spirits. It seems that this entity is connected to that ring, so maybe this will elicit some kind of response. Couldn't we just put the ring back in the box and dispose of it? I wish it were that easy. But we're worried that simply removing the ring from the house won't be enough. What about destroying it? That can make the situation much worse. See, destroying that ring will set him free and allowing more of a connection with you. We'll get started when you're ready to place the ring on your finger. Okay. Is everyone ready? All right. Let's begin. Everyone place their fingertips on the edge of the table. This will give the spirit energy. Remember, contact with the spirit is never guaranteed. But if we do make contact, the spirit will tilt the table in response. A single tilt will mean yes, where a rocking of the table will mean no. Whatever you do, do not speak unless you're asking a question. And absolutely do not remove your hands from the table as this will break the circle and connection will be lost. Yes. Lastly, and most importantly, Envision yourself surrounded by the white light of protection. This will ward off all evil spirits. Okay. Everyone place their fingers around the perimeter. Do you feel the energy moving through the table? Good. Let's begin. We are calling out to the spirits of this house. If you are present, make yourself known. Is anyone there? Is there anyone that wants to make contact? I say again, is there anyone there? Are we in the presence of the spirit residing in this house? Were you murdered in this house? Did you commit suicide? What's, what's wrong? <laughs> Are you the one acting through West right now? <laughs> Break the circle. We need to hear what the spirit has to say. It might be our only way to save him. Wes, can you hear me? Please stay with us, Wes. Are you the one oppressing this family? <laughs>
clearly we have it's okay. It's okay. made contact with something. We're okay. okay. I just need everyone okay. to be calm, try to, to get your bearings together. It's everyone else okay. I want everybody to go back through your footage and make sure you... Uh, Nancy? that Nancy bailing on us like that? She had a physical encounter with an entity, something most of us only dream of, and instead of being in awe, she freaked out. I guess she realized she was in the wrong field tonight. <laughs> She'll be sleeping Everyone with the lights on for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel the energy moving through the table? Is anyone there? and double exposure or something? No, I don't think so. Take a look at that one. Howdy, Smurrow. Call Jackie. It's Chris, I need to talk to Jackie. This is an emergency, hello?
please, please help me, please. Uh, uh, enough, Wes. She's still alive. What are you talking about? Don't give me that. You know what you did. I didn't do anything. I've been asleep on the couch. You tried to kill Vera. We found her floating in the swamp out back. That's impossible. Wes, when did you put that ring on? I didn't. Where is she? She's out front with Chris. Vera? Oh, Vera. Vera, I'm so sorry. It wasn't me. I would never do that to you. I know it wasn't you. Are you okay? I'm just a little shaken, but I I'm fine. Okay, good. Hey. What's wrong? Uh, work called me in. Is that okay? Yeah, just don't get into trouble. You sure? in this house. Help me stop it from happening again. I tried. I tried to scare them away, but it didn't work. It's too late. No, no there has to be something. It collects the souls of the living to torture them. But they must be taken by someone they love. It makes them do it. But, but Wes isn't wearing the ring. It has no control. It always has control. Once it makes the connection, it won't stop until it destroys every last bit of you. No, no, there has to be another way. He doesn't want me saying anymore. Please just tell me. It will try everything to stop you. But no, some of us here aren't like the others. It's 
to you, isn't it? I can sense your foul presence. But <laughs> you don't scare me. trapped in here, weren't you? Your family did this to you. They boarded you up in here with nothing but a candle and a rope to hang yourself. I can help you. Don't you want help? So, you exist in darkness. And you want them to be in darkness too, don't you? Well, if you won't let me help you, then let me go! It was like the room sealed itself with Jackie still inside. Alfred had to take her to the hospital. Are you alone right now? No. Angela dropped Ethan off a little while ago, and Chris and Guy stayed behind to help. I'm coming home right now. No, you can't afford to get in trouble. I don't care. This thing was too powerful for Jackie. I want to make sure you and Ethan are all right. It's fine. Strangely enough, I actually feel good. Really, I do. With everything Jackie's done, the house feels so much better. You know, don't get used to it. Because we aren't staying. I know. I know, we had such high hopes for this place. I guess I'll see you tonight. Hey, call me if anything happens. I will. All right. Well, bye, Vera. Bye, Wes. Guy? Where are you going? Is Guy out here? Oh, yeah, he just went around the back of the house. Oh, great. If you hurry, you might be able to catch him. What's wrong? Alfred just called. He said we need to bring the box back to the lab ASAP. Okay, well, if you need me, I'll be inside. Thanks. Guy? 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 What is he? <gasps> Guy, what are you doing out here? Are you okay? What are you doing? Guy? Guy? What's wrong? Jackie. 
she's she's fine, but Vera, I need you to listen to me right now. Did Guy and Chris get the box back to you? What? Chris told me that you called earlier and asked them to bring the box back. Vera? I never called them. Alfred, I think we have a bad connection. Vera? Vera, I need you to leave the house. Right now. We're on our way now. Alfred? Wait here. You think I'm gonna let you face this alone? I almost lost you once. I am not risking Look, it again. you won't. This family needs us both. Come on, man. Are you guys okay? Ethan, come on. We gotta go, okay? All right. Stay behind me. Wes, is that you? Wes, are you down there? Something. Is everything all right? Come on. Okay, 
But I'm here. No, <laughs> here, let's just go. I can't leave him behind. to me. Don't leave me down here. He's, he's gonna kill me. Vera, please, open the door. I'll come back with help. No, wait, don't leave me. We love you. Vera, you can't leave without me. I won't let you! <laughs> continued living normal lives like nothing was different. You would have adjusted and forgotten all about the old Wes. But you've given me no other choice. Vera. Vera, run. Run. Be back, sister dear. Vera, 
stop. He's killing him! Remember, this isn't Wes. Wes, I mean it! If you kill him, you're playing right into the Entity's hands. You're, you're just giving him another soul. Vera, honey, just, just put it down. It'll be all right. Not until Ethan's safe! Vera, listen to her. Just hand it over. Just, just give it to me. Don't let it get inside your head. <laughs> I hope you know what you're doing. Quick, hold him down. Get the ring. <laughs> Get this ring back to the university. Dad, we can remove his energy, and that will destroy Thaddeus. Wes, can't give up. You're stronger than no! Wes. Don't let it have you, Wes. Don't give up. I know you're in there, but you have to force him out. Wes, don't give up. Wes. You're stronger than he is, Wes. Wes, you're the only man that can stop this. Save your family. Wes. We're all here for you. I love you, Wes, and Ethan loves you, but you have to stop. Wes, no! No. No, it's me. It's me. I'm so sorry, Vera. I'm so sorry. Take off the ring. I can't. He's too strong. No! You have to. Do it! Now! One, two, three.
So, what's next? Oh, um, we started therapy as a family, and it's been a tremendous help. And we found a new house. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's closer to work for Wes and school for Ethan, and once things settle in, I'm gonna go back to college in spring. That is wonderful. Good for you. Well, everything's set. Uh, come on, Ethan. We gotta get going. I'll go get him. Okay. He doesn't remember anything. Well, maybe that's for the best. With Thaddeus destroyed, this house is dead. Yeah. He's the happiest I've seen him in a long time. It's almost like he's a completely different person. <laughs> hey, finished? Yep, all done. Well, it looks like this is goodbye. All right, tell him bye, Ethan. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. young man. Thank you. We'll keep in touch. Oh, I'm sure we'll see each other much sooner than you think. You ready? Let's go. <laughs> What's wrong? I forgot my briefcase. <laughs> Is that all? Can't you just let the movers get it? No, it's it's got the stuff for my big story in it. Wes, I really don't want you going back into the house. You heard Jackie. The house is safe. It'll be fine. Just don't be long, all right? It'll only take a second. I can't wait for you to read my story. <laughs> Something's wrong, Ethan. I'm gonna go check on him. Vera, no, I'm scared. He could have gotten hurt. I'll be back, I promise. Wes, you all right? What's taking so long? Wes, are you in there?
What do you think? What? I said, what do you think? No, no, it's impossible. We destroyed the ring. That you did. I really must thank Ethan personally for saving my life. Stay back. Why? I just want to get my family out of here. Why? We wanted a new beginning. We're home. Stay away from me, Wes. Stay back. Part of the family, part of the house.